Galapagos is no longer the isolated archipelago that it used to be. Every day, boxes of cargo come into the Galapagos, planes and boats visit Galapagos, and with these come introduced species, species that aren't brought in intentionally by people, but that still arrive in Galapagos. These are the species that are causing problems nowadays. Fire ants, plant-eating insects, disease-carrying insects. Right now, the highest priority is a parasitic fly that is attacking Darwin's finches and other birds in Galapagos. This species of fly is having a huge impact on the nestlings of Darwin's finches, and it's crucial that we find a way to control it. Galapagos Conservancy is helping us garner international expertise, and this is key. This is the only way that we're going to solve some of these crucial issues in Galapagos. Once you start working in Galapagos, you get hooked. And I have been working in Galapagos now for 15 years, and for me it's really, really important to try and conserve these fragile ecosystems. And I'm in for the long run. <laughs>